So I was looking for new ways to make rebuilds like fun and exciting for you guys. And I was looking through like the 2K and Madden community and I saw King of the Fourth Quarter who makes 2K content does a five minute rebuild. And I was like, ooh, that's a really good challenge because in the NBA you have five players, you know, you're starting five and then you have your bench players to worry about. But with the MLB, you have a 25 man roster, a pitching staff, a full lineup that you have to worry about. So I thought five minutes, that's gonna be a really big challenge. And you're probably thinking, whoa, 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 you already started talking, your five minutes has started. Well, the five minutes starts after you make that first trade. So the way this works is you have five minutes to make any roster moves, trades, free agents, signings at the beginning of the year. You cannot make any changes to the team once those five minutes is up. So no like mid-season acquisitions, no trade deadline, no free agent signings after those five minutes, um, no draft, nothing like that. Five minutes at the start of the season, and that's it. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button down below. Let me know which team you want to see next. And then, you know, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You guys know the spiel. Let's get into it. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So with this, we're, like I said, I'm, we're going to do the toughest rebuild. We're going to do five minutes with the Detroit Tigers. Oof, this one's going to be tough. So you guys can see ignore budgets is off. So the budgets are on. No forced trades, so no funny business. And we're going to control everything just so that the CPU doesn't make any roster moves or trades or signings during the season because that's not allowed. We only have five minutes at the beginning to make these moves. And man, this is going to be tough with this team. So looking at the Detroit Tigers, really the only players I like are Cabrera, Kristen Stewart, and Nico Goodrum. Outside of that, maybe John Hicks isn't too bad. So catcher, maybe like this, like three through six is okay but outside of that i definitely think we can upgrade every other position when we look at the starting rotation i know there's casey mize but he's just not mlb yet ready yet so we have boyd fulmer i need a three four five starter and then basically everyone in the bullpen besides joe jimenez and trevor rosenthal need to be changed as well so we need a long reliever three middle relievers maybe four middle relievers and we'll use Joe Jimenez as our setup guy. This one's going to be tough. So the trade or the five minutes starts when we make our first trade. And I'm I, I'm going to get my, my timer handy. And I'm kind of thinking we go after um, we go after a, like a starting pitcher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do a big like a big starting pitcher. And I think that's really going to help us out. Or maybe I just do this and maybe we can get like a maybe like a jack peterson or a max muncie that takes up maybe we have nico goodrum to shortstop and then we have max muncie at second can we get justin turner involved in this we can't what about um like a verdugo verdugo's not terrible or maybe like a pitcher just get get one of my favorites in dylan floro and that's our first trade we get a good starter a second baseman and then a bullpen arm. So with that being said, once I accept this trade, this is our start, like our start. So now we need a third baseman, center fielder, right fielder, third baseman, center fielder, right fielder, and then a four, five, and bullpen help. So, all right, ready, set, go. All right, I don't, oh man, this is tough. So we got our first trade. I, I don't know what we're gonna do here. Let's try to find another starting pitcher. I'm already, I'm already all over the place. How are we gonna? I don't even know who to go for at this point. Um, maybe a Vince Velasquez. Ah, his stats don't look that great. I'm trying to think of like cheap, attainable players who aren't too bad. I'm also making sure my phone doesn't lock up and it just starts beeping and I lose track of what how much time I have left. Oh man, five minutes. Danny Salazar. Oh, what about a Carlos Carrasco? All right, that one's not going to be possible. Maybe, maybe Danny Salazar isn't a bad idea. Throw in Edwin Jackson and a low-rated player. Boom, we got our fourth starter. Let's try to get... What do we got? One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, we need one more. Um, Funkhauser. And let's just try to find like a low-rated, cheap... Like a Ryan Yarbrough, who normally does really well. Maybe throw in a Riley Green. And then, again, an, a leather, another low-rated player. Come on, come on, come on. One of these got to do it. All right, so we got our starting rotation sorted. Let's get this bullpen figured out. So we got Rosenthal, Floro. Um, we got Joe Jimenez, who those are all really good, like, setup guys, bullpen arms. But they're not really players who I'm like, ooh, I definitely want them in my bullpen. So let's try to find maybe an actual, like, a true closer. Um, who's a decent closer to trade for? Um, three minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, man, we got to move a lot quicker. 
Um, uh, maybe Michael Givens. I don't think that's gonna be possible. Um, geez, this is so tough. Um, uh, maybe Parker Meadows. That gives me Michael Givens, and is it gonna give me maybe like Richard Blyer as a lefty? That's not bad. Okay, I think that might be our bullpen sorted. So let's try to find a third baseman, or do we just use the Well Lugo and then try to find a center fielder? Ah, uh, that might be the move um all right let's try to find a really good center fielder under three minutes now who's a really good center fielder to go for that i can always trust to do really well george springer mm, budget's an issue here so what if we throw in like jordy morse mercer mm, that's i almost said jordy morser that's not english um we've picked up a lot of uh, what's it called budget here? So if we get rid of this shortstop, are we still gonna be able to do it two minutes and 30 seconds? Are you serious? All right, so we need that shortstop for sure and then let's throw in Tyson Ross Is that gonna be enough to get this deal done? Perfect. And then I said we needed a right fielder Josh Reddick's contracts too big. What if we just get Jake Marisnik? Mm, man, our, con our situation's that bad Um, Can we get a lead Miss Diaz and that he then he can then Nico Goodrum can go to third and then now he can play shortstop or second, whichever one works. All right, we got that. So we need a right fielder, and I think that might be the team. Um, and we just, and then that we that way we can just kind of check, see what we need, get a little quick peek at everything. Um, who's kind of a, a glitch that we could use for the outfield? Kind of looking, kind of looking. Ooh, Solaire. I know Solaire is. Um, you want Daz Cameron? Oh, uh. Jody Mercer there we go we got it sorted out I think so then let's just take a quick look at everything we got one two three um Ryu will be our our new ace and then we need Danny Salazar there and then we definitely will clean this up we got way too many pitchers there looking at the lineup we got second base taken care of first left Nico Goodrum's gonna play third I think a Miss Diaz is gonna play a uh, short short and then right field is gonna be Solaire and I think center there there we go I, I'm cool with that lineup I think we actually did it we got 50 seconds left so let's just kind of get rid of some of these extra players and uh, see what we can do here I don't want him um I don't want him don't maybe keep him up let's see who else is up here that shouldn't be he should not be 40 seconds to kind of fix this make sure we got everybody that we need um Joe Jimenez all right so boom all right we don't need don't need him under 30 seconds and we got one more extra player that we don't need so I think that's the lineup guys I think we got it all sorted out I mean obviously I'll move some players around and whatnot like he'll go up here He'll move there and then we'll just kind of go like this actually yeah i think that might be it guys and then we just remove him and bring somebody else it's five seconds left i'm just gonna stop it there three two one and we'll move him up to oh okay we didn't get it up but that's that's the team i feel like man that was that was that was tough that was <laughs> really really tough so no roster moves are gonna be made i'm just gonna set the lineup um, you guys can see we have every player that we need to. I would have rather kept up Josh Harrison instead of Jacoby Jones, but I think I think we'll be okay. And I wanted to get up um, maybe like Cisneros or somebody else. Um, I think Stump would have been a good option instead of this Tyler Alexander guy because he looks atrocious. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what we just did in five minutes. That is insane. That we were able to do that so really quickly i'm going to set up the lineup you guys can see every single player that's here so no no roster moves are going to be changed outside of that and um, then we're just going to sim the season see how things go and hopefully make the postseason and win a world series all right guys so there's the the team um yeah this is this is the one player that worries me the most outside of that i'm pretty happy with what we were able to do so again we got Rio. Fulmer, Boyd, Salazar, Yarbrough, Turnbull, Blaine Hardy, Floro, Jimenez, Alexander, Rosenthal, Blyer, and Givens. I'm kind of tempted to move Rosenthal out of the setup role and let we'll leave it we'll leave it like that. And then in the lineup, 
We got Goodrum, Muncie, Cabrera, Springer, Christian Stewart, Soler, Alenmiz Diaz, Dewell Lugo, and John Hicks. On the bench, we got Jake Rogers, Jacoby Jones, and Ronnie Rodriguez. I mean, everything else is this like kind of changed up to kind of fit the best um, lineup possible. And I'm I'm liking it. I'm thinking we're pretty we're pretty set. I mean, this is gonna be intense. I don't I feel like we should make the postseason with a lineup like this. I feel like the pitching is really gonna carry us. Hopefully. I mean, who knows? So I'm gonna sim the season. Um, but first I'm gonna save just in case. Nah, whatever. We'll we'll just sim the season, see how it goes. And uh, I'll catch you guys at the end of the year. All right, so we scraped by the skin of our teeth. I think that's I think that's the saying, right? Well, look at that. We were 93 and 71. And you're probably thinking, well, that's that's an extra game. Well, yeah, we had to play a tiebreaker against Houston to make it into the postseason. So, whoo, that got a little interesting. Let's take a look, see how the team did. I mean, Nico Goodrum was okay. You know, Muncie was all right. Cabrera was solid, even though he dropped down to a 78. George Springer hit about 300 with 25 homers, 73 RBIs. Kristen Stewart, low average. What was that on base percentage, though? It was okay. It was okay. Soler was pretty solid. 24 home runs, 82 RBIs. I mean, that's a good run production. Home runs, etc. cetera. Aledmiz Diaz is kind of a beast. Um, he's just a cheap beast to get. You know, 15 home runs is not terrible. 270 average, 350 on base percentage. Good amount of doubles as well. Hopefully he can become clutch. The Well Lugo is our, our bench bat. Our DH was solid as well. 88 RBIs. He was actually one of the higher ones for RBIs, wasn't he? Besides Nico Goodrum, he was our league like our team leader for RBIs. Okay, I'll take that. And he was our bench bat. He didn't even play almost every game. So Ryu didn't do as good as I would have hoped. Michael Fulmer was pretty solid. Um, Matt Boyd was a little bit of a disappointment. Danny Salazar as well. And right, oh man, man, it's just like everybody besides Michael, Michael Fulmer was kind of a, kind of bad, kind of bad. And when we look at our bullpen, Blaine Hardy did well, Floro did well, Jimenez was eh, Tyler Alexander didn't do too well, Trevor Rosenthal did quite well. I like that, 2-7 ERA, 1.4 whips, a little high, but the, the ERA is good. Richard Blyer is so good for like two seasons, and then after that he's garbage. And then Michael Givens was really good. Let's check out these saves, 46 saves six blown saves so perfect so no league leaders no awards we missed out on the division by a game and then obviously in the wild card we had to play that that um that tiebreaker and we did it do we have to take play two tiebreakers we did we had to play one against the rays and then we had to play one against the astros oh snap okay so now we're gonna play one postseason game against the red sox Oh man, let's see how this goes. Obviously, we're gonna quick manage it. It's like the make or break point of this entire speed rebuild. Um, I guess we'll go. Do we go Fulmer? He's kind of like the OG Tiger member, and he had the best season. Or do we go Ryu? Um, let's go Michael Fulmer. Let's go Michael Fulmer. Let's give it a shot. We're going against Chris Sale. Starts it off right with a single. First and second, no outs. There we go, Miggy. Then George Springer makes it a three-run game. All right. So looking at their squad, it doesn't look like anything changed. Good double play gets us out of the inning. Okay. No runs, please. Come on, get out of there. Okay. There we go, Aledmiz Diaz makes that, gets that three-run lead back. Not good. Come on, Michael Fulmer. Come on, just hold it down. We just, we got to hold the lead. You can do it. Keep pitching well. Keep holding them to nothing. That's probably his last inning. He's getting a little tired. Maybe. See, we can get one more out of you. We do. Okay, the well Lugo. Kristen Stewart. There we go. Makes it a 5-3 to three game. And we're going to take him out. Facing a couple righties next. So we're going to go Dylan Floro. Perfect. George Springer. Soler. Muncie. Nothing. Can we... This is a tough spot for us. We're going to go Rosenthal. And a lefty. We're going to go Blyer. Perfect. John Hicks against Domingo Tapia. Kristen Stewart again makes it a four-run lead. That's what I like to see. So we're going to go. We're just going to be safe. We're going to go to Michael Givens. One run scores. Another run scores. Come on, dude. We need two outs. Dude, come on. Get out. N Michael Givens, what is your deal? All you had to do was get one more out. That's all we needed you to do. 
Just get one out. That was it. You didn't have to do anything else. And I think we just lost. I think we just lost. I think we just lost. I, we're running out of bullpen arms. We're on our last bullpen arm. What the heck? Our closer gave up how many runs? How many runs? Four runs in the ninth. <laughs> no we had him we had him like this we had him we had him all we had to do was just close the door that's all we had to do and michael givens blew it that sucks that sucks we had it we had it man we would have been taking on the yankees which of course would have been a very tough task but i feel like this team had some fight in it and that's how it's going to end. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's five minute rebuild. Again, let me know in the comment section which teams you'd like to see in the future. And I'll definitely try to bring them to you guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.